What's up guys? I hope everybody's having an awesome day today. So I'm gonna be doing another experiment with my microscope today and a lot of people message me about this issue and that is what happens to your blood cells when you drink coffee? What happens when you drink regular bottled water? And what happens when you drink Kangen water? So I got my lensing device, I got my needles, I got my microscope, I got my slides. I mean, I'm ready. So let's get this started. And here we go. Got a little blood. Man, I really feel for people that have to do this every single day. You know, not look at their, mi their blood under the microscope, but you know, to poke themselves and check their sugar. You know, that's, that's crazy. So let's see how is my blood cells right now. So I just woke up, right? I just woke up. I didn't drink water last night because I knew I was gonna do this video today. So I wanted to be, you know, the regular person that doesn't drink as much water um, before they go to sleep. So right now we're at 10 times soon and you can see that my blood cells are really, really, really not moving at all. <laughs> They're not moving, um, which means that, you know, I'm really dehydrated and this is how my blood is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on to 20 times and you can see how my blood, you can see my blood cells individually, but they're stuck together and not moving guys. And this is what happens for most of you guys that do not drink water and when you wake up, um, what are you doing when you're waking up? What are you putting inside your body when are you waking up? This is really important guys. As you can see, mine is really, really still. Um, wow guys, Let go, let's go to 40 times soon. Again guys, it is crazy. You can see them, but they're not moving at all. They're kind of moving. I can see them kind of moving now, but they're, you know, they're not, they're not moving like they should be. So now let's go to 60 times. And there it is guys you I mean you can see them like barely barely moving but you know they're, they should be like moving they should be all over the place and it's crazy so I'm gonna be doing what most people do every single morning and that is drink a cup of coffee um, and I put um almond creamer in here and no sugar I didn't put no sugar in here I used to be a really really heavy coffee drinker Back in the day, I used to drink at least three cups a day in the morning, mid-afternoon, and right before I went to sleep. <laughs> yes, I, I drink coffee before going to sleep. I don't know how I did it. I seriously don't know how I did it. Um, but today I'm going to be drinking another cup of coffee. I drink coffee every now and then, not as often as I used to. Um, and I actually, when I do drink coffee now, I make it with my Kangen water. But this is actually made with just regular plain water just to see what happens to my blood and I didn't want to um, affect the coffee with the Kangen water. And that's, that's going to be another test that I'm, I want to do. I want to see the difference between um, coffee made with Kangen water and regular plain water. So that will be really interesting to see. But in this case, I just use regular plain water for this purpose. So I'm going to be, I'll drink this coffee and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So it's been 10 minutes since I drank 12 ounces of cup of coffee with almond creamer. Okay. So I'm going to be testing my blood again and see if we can see any differences. So boom. Woo! All right. So right now, Right now we are looking at my blood 10 times soon. Um, they are moving a lot more than they were, um, which is good, which is just a good thing, right? Um, but you can see that they're still getting stuck to each other. And that's because the, the blood cells are not surrounded with a negative charge around them to bounce off each other. So I'm gonna, let's go to 20 times soon and see if we can see any closer. And uh, yeah, as you can see how the cells are forming um, lines, they kind of look like coins stacking, uh, stacking up with each other. And that's a, it's, it's a formation called Rolux, Rolux, Rolux. I don't know how to pronounce it very well, but it's a formation in your blood that is associated with chronic liver disease and chronic inflammations throughout your body. So this doesn't necessarily mean that you're about to die, but if you continue, to, um, to drink this type of stuff and you continue to form your blood like this, then over time, then it can, it can produce some damage in your body. So let's go to 40 times soon. 
um, and as you can see the blood cells are still moving a little bit but you can still see how they're still stacking up with each other and you know that's not a good sign um, so let's go to CC times what you want to see is every blood cell individually and bouncing off each other and just moving all over the place obviously right now it is moving more than it was um, but it's still stacking up with each other and it's not moving as fast so now I'm gonna be uh, drinking bottled water and I'm gonna be seeing what happens uh, within 10 minutes of drinking bottled water so I got freaking Dasani here I don't know how I feel about this I haven't drank bottled water in a long time so I guess we're gonna see how it tastes so I'm gonna be uh, drinking 12 ounces of Dasani water that is 12 ounces right there so cheers or I don't know about that <laughs> I don't know. It has it has this weird taste to it. I don't know. And I can I can feel the difference. I can definitely feel the difference. I can taste the difference. It has um I don't know, it has kind of like a plastic I don't it's a weird taste. I don't know, I don't know. Um and obviously I can feel it in my stomach. So I'm just gonna wait 10 minutes and see what happens to my blood cells. All right guys, I'm back and it's been 10 minutes since I drank 12 ounces of Dasani water. Yeah, I know, pretty boring. Um, but let's go ahead and see what effects had in my blood. Oh, I didn't poke it. Boom, let's do it again, baby, woo. <laughs> you can see the blood cells moving. Uh, this is a 10 time zoom and um, to be honest, you can um, see the little blood cells has separated a little bit. This is at 20 times zoom. And yes, my blood cells has separated a little bit. Um, but you cannot see them moving as they should be, right? So at least we don't see the, uh, the coin stack formation anymore. And um, at least we see some separation. But I want to see more movement. So let's go at 40 times zoom. Alright, that's 40 times zoom. And let's go to 60 times zoom. All right, all right, guys. So this is a 60 times zoom. Um, as you can tell, the blood cells are individually, um, but you can see some of them are still stuck to each other um, and not moving um, much. So now this is the good part, and this is where I get really excited, and that is drinking 12 ounces of Kangen water. So let, I'm gonna go ahead to my machine, uh, get 12 ounces, and see what happens after 10 minutes. Alright guys, so here's my Kanga machine and let's get some 9.5 and I got my measuring cup just in case there's some skeptics uh, out there saying oh, you know, he drank more than 12 ounces, what, what, whatever. Um, so let's go and see 12 ounces. Just under 12 ounces and you can see the hydrogen in the water. So let's go ahead and pour it in this cup. There, you can see the hydrogen in the water. That is beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. That is why you want to be drinking every single day. And that's why they say, drink the cloud. <laughs> All right, guys, so I have 12 ounces of Kangen water, 9.5 pH water. And I'm about to chug this, and we're going to be seeing the results after 10 minutes. <sighs> now, wow. You can really, really tell the difference <laughs> between Kangen water and, and this stuff. I mean, you really can't compare. That's like comparing Bud Light to an Estella. You really can't compare that. Um, but let's just wait 10 minutes and see what happens. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes since I drank 12 ounces of Kangen water. So let's go and poke myself again. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is a 10 time zoom. And I can clearly see more cells moving around, not as much as I would like to, but um, just keep in mind that I, drink, I did drink coffee and I did drink Dasani and both of those beverages are really, really acidic, full of protons, so it doesn't help my blood uh, at all. Um, so let's go at 20 times soon. And you can see that the cells 
are you know moving uh, more than the previous test and my belief is this is because the hydrogen which is negative charge is surrounding those cells and those cells are actively moving and bouncing off each other so let's go in uh, 40 times soon you can clearly see the difference in your blood cells after drinking kangen water and this is why I wanted to do this video um, let's go at 60 times this is the main reason why I made the investment into the microscope you know because I wanted to show you guys the power behind hydrogen water you know so it's, it's one thing me telling you what this water does but it's another thing actually seeing what it does inside your body so I mean I don't know what to tell you guys I really don't have to say much um, you can see, clearly see with your own eyes the effects on my blood um, after drinking coffee with almond creamer, um, after drinking 12 ounces of Dasani water, and then after drinking 12 ounces of Kangen or hydrogen rich water. You want to keep your cells hydrated, you want to keep them energized, you want to keep them moving to prevent diseases, just to prevent a lot of problems in your health. Definitely comment, um, if you like this video please like it and share it with all your friends and family because this information is crucial and I think everybody deserves to know this information and all, all I wanted to do is make people think. I'm not trying to convince anybody at all. I want to show you guys the results and I want you guys to make your own decisions. Have a great day, stay hydrated my friends.